When it comes to the island, hidden locations are needed to hide away from the toxicity of Ark. So we proudly present Top 10 Hidden Locations on the Island. And coming at number 10, this can be found at 43.7 latitude and 38.0 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this location can be found on one of the sidewalls of the volcano. Now the volcano actually has a lot of these locations, so just make sure to kind of just fly around and look for them, because they really are everywhere. So anyways, coming over here, once you come inside, as you see, it's kind of a big entrance in a way. But it's not a rat hole, so these are kind of just hidden locations, of course, so of course they're going to have some bigger entrances. However, that's just kind of more hidden, so a lot of players don't really know about it as well. But yeah, this location is a little bit awkward to build in, which is why it's at number 10. If you can figure out how to build in here, good for you. Makes a really good spot. However, building in here is definitely going to be very tricky, at least until cliff platforms come out on uh, Aberration. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a tricky build, but you have a lot of room in here. So if you can figure out how to build in here properly, or even maybe just build a little two by two base in here, it'll actually make for a really, really good spot. Coming at number nine, this can be found at 9.9 .9 latitude and 31.4 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this one can be found over in the snow region. Now the reason why this one is at number nine is because of the location of it. As you can see, it's not like it's really up on a hill or anything, it is straight up on a spawn location. So, building in here isn't going to be that difficult, however, you got to deal with that whole spawn point area, meaning you're going to be basically blocking off a spawn area, and a lot of people are going to know that you're here. So, it makes for a pretty decent spot, but overall not a crazy spot, but it is a nice little hidden area. It's big enough to fit a smaller tribe, however, you can't really fit a ton of stuff in here. So... Building in here is going to be a bit of a challenge, however, it does make for a pretty good location. Coming at number 8, this can be found at 44.2 latitude and 39.1 longitude. And then here it is on the map. So again, this one can be found on the side of the volcano. Now, this one is actually a little bit more hidden than the last one, and you really cannot see this, lo this uh, location until you're pretty much on top of it. So as you can see, again, it's kind of an awkward build with this one, but it is super long and goes super high up. However, this one does have a little bit more room for you to work with. So building some foundations in here is going to be tricky, like I said. However, it is a lot more doable compared to that last one. Now, there is a second entr entrance up here and then a third one up here, if you really want to even call those entrances. So building in here is going to be a little bit tricky. So if you can figure it out, it makes for a really good location. Coming at number 7, this can be found at 39.8 latitude and 42.5 longitude. And then here it is on the map. And again, this is another volcano location. This one can be found a little bit farther down, and this one is decently hidden. The easiest way to spot this location if you're trying to look for it is just look for that super tall tree. There's not too many of them on the side of the volcano, and it really does kind of help it stick out a little bit. Now, this location, again, is going to be a little bit tricky to build in, but it's a lot more doable because it's not like a straight down incline. So building on it is going to be a little bit easier. Still going to need to build a little bit of more kind of a compact base, if you want to call it that. You have this little hallway kind of thing through here, but you can't really do much with it. So there's a decent amount of room. It's a good little hidden location if you are looking to build kind of more hidden-ish, if you want to call it that. But yeah, it does make for a pretty good location. Coming at number 6, this can be found at 39.1 latitude and 33.9 longitude. And then here it is on the map. And again, this is another volcano location. Now this one is a little bit more hidden compared to some of the other ones. It's actually a lot more hidden. As you can see, you can just look at this spot and you almost cannot see it. Now if I really wasn't even talking about this location, you wouldn't be able to see it at all. So coming back up here, see that little corner piece up there in the top left? Which, this hidden area is this whole location right here, but the main area is in that top corner. Now this area, using a cliff platform would be really really good in here once they come out of course because they're not out yet unless you're watching this whenever aberrations out in that case use a cliff platform here but up here it doesn't look that big but you can actually fit a nice little two by two up here and it'll be nice and cozy it's gonna be a little bit hard to fit some stuff in that base so you might need to build a little bit farther out like right into this area but overall it does make for a really good location just make sure that you put turrets all over the place to make sure that nobody can get in 
Coming at number 5, this location can be found at 44.5 latitude and 78.6 longitude. Now this one can be found over here, kind of closer to Green Ob. Now you'll notice that there's these little kind of underwater floating cliffside thing. I don't even know what you really want to call it to be honest with you. However, it does make for some really good locations and I'm going to give you guys a little hint. There may or may not be a hidden rat hole in here. I'm not going to show it in this video, but I might be showing that in a future video. Who knows? But anyways, up in here is your location. It's super small, so if you are a one-man tribe and it's just you, just playing it solo, this is a good spot to live in. It's going to be a little bit compact, so putting some stuff in here is going to be, be a little bit tight. However, a lot of players are not even going to know that you're here. It makes for a pretty good location. So, yeah, if you're looking for a better place to kind of live in where no one's going to see you, this is the one for you. Coming at number 4, this can be found at 17.6 latitude and 52.1 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found in the dead middle of the right snow mountain, if you want to call it that. I think that's the right snow mountain, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. And anyways, here is this little, little tiny location. It's not a massive spot to build with, however, it is a super great hidden location. So if you are a solo, this will really make for a good spot. It's going to be a little bit tight in here, so putting an in, in indie forge in here just really isn't going to work unless you can find a little little mesh spot for you to build in, I, I guess you want to call it that. But uh, yeah, it's super nice, it's super compact, you put some turrets on the outside, and it overall makes for a really good location. But there is a second spot down in here. Now, it's going to be a little bit hard to do stuff with this, however, you can easily use this for some other extra storage, or maybe even storing a couple PTs in there or something whenever you want to like log off. But overall, it is a pretty decent location, and not a lot of people are even going to find you here. Coming at number 3, this can be found at 50.8 latitude and 83.4 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found over in the far right side middle of the map. This location is a really really good location to build in if you are a solo or a duo tribe. Anything bigger, it can fit, but it's just going to be very very tight. Now as you can see, there is this nice little hidden kind of overhang. If you really want to call it that, I kind of want to call it a cave almost, but it's really not big enough to be a true cave. So this location is honestly a really, really good spot. The only downside is, is that it is very popular. A lot of people already know about this spot because it really is a man-made kind of spot and not like a mess up like glitch spot, kind of like the rest of these other ones that were on our list. But it's not a bad location to live in. You really just got to protect that main entrance. I would recommend maybe putting a little tiny turret tower out, out front if you really want to but it'll honestly make for a really good location. Coming at number 2, this can be found at 55.6 latitude and 95.0 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this location is a little bit different from all the other ones on our list, considering that this one is an underwater location. Now there are a ton of these underwater, and we're going to do an entire separate video on these. I just wanted to kind of give a little sneak peek of one of them that we have found. And this is honestly one of the better ones on our underwater list that we are about to do. This location is honestly a pretty good sized one. As you can see back here, it's a nice little triangle entrance. It is a smaller entrance, meaning a lot of things aren't really going to be able to get in here. And there is a lot of room to work within here. Now the vacuum compartments are going to be a little bit tricky for the placements, but overall it is not a bad location to build in at all. There is plenty of room in here for a decent amount of people to, to uh, live in. And a good side about it is that it's a little bit higher up, meaning that you can easily go up to the entrance, you know, farm some stuff, go up to a second base if you need to. And overall, it's not a bad location at all. It's got these little sneak areas over here where you can kind of hide stuff, like maybe even like a tech jenny up there or something. And it makes for a really good location. And finally, coming at number one, this can be found at 51.4 latitude and 83.4 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this one is literally right next to number three. So you can literally go onto the left and you'll find this location. Now this spot is honestly probably the best one on our list. The only downside of this spot is that it does have two entrances, so defending both entrances is going to be a little bit tricky. Now I guess you can qualify this one more as a cave, but there's no main true artifact, so I'm just going to call it a hidden location. There's a lot of room to, to uh, work with in here other than the kind of awkward rocks randomly just placed in this cave. You really got to watch out for those. I don't know how to get rid of those. I don't think that you really can to be honest with you. But building in here is going to be super nice. It's a lot of flat room. You can easily fit Indy Ford as a full crafting station and a decent amount of room for some dinos to even fit in here as well. So if you're looking for a hidden location, but with a bigger tribe, 
this is definitely the one for you. But anyways, that's it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.